is Tatania Thompson and I'm the stylist for Fashion Week Brooklyn and we're here today at the closing party and I have one of our best models in Fashion Week Brooklyn, Jay here. Yo, what's up? My name is Jay. How y'all doing? He's also my boyfriend, so. <laughs> um, do I keep going? So what are you, okay, so what are you here today, so what are you, okay, so how do you feel about the Fashion Week Brooklyn movement? Man, I'm super, hold the mic please, because the sound is loud. I don't think I'm the person. No, so, what he's doing, five minutes he's going to be professional, what he's doing is sound check. He's trying to see the sound levels out in his camera. This is, this, yeah. It's just practice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what to say when you I have so many questions. I don't know. And I have hey, you gotta. My name is Tatania Thompson. I'm the stylist of Fashion Week Brooklyn, and we're here at the closing out party. And I have one of our photographers here from Genius World Media, and his name is Anthony. And Anthony, what are you here for today? Uh, hi, Ben. Hope all is well. Uh, I'm just here to experience a good time. My first time at a Slayway event. And I'm um, gonna give all props to Fashion Street Brooklyn and my whole team at Genius World Media. I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and I'm just looking to uh, explore new things and, and, and find new opportunities and just shoot good Vogue. So tell me a little bit about your business and your photography. What is your main focus when it comes to photography? Sure, uh, Genius World is a multifunctional uh, agency where we provide content creation services for people and music and businesses alike. Our main stick is in fashion, so we get very fashion forward. So we have a strong team of fashion world people, such as you know our COO and stylist, Tatiana. She's been really, really good help for me and my team. And um, we're just looking to move on to the next level, working with um, top designers such as DVF and um, other opportunities as well too, like being in Vogue magazine, stuff like that. So far recently we've been publishing about 70 plus magazines so far within this year. So it's really good. And I'm just looking to move forward within fashion and even one day have our own fashion show. Correction, Tatania the stylist. Okay, okay. So I also wanted to ask you what inspires you when it comes to fashion? Um, for me, what inspires me when it comes to fashion, I feel it's literally about individuality and uniqueness. You know, bringing your own style and your own virtue into fashion. Um, obviously, some fashion senses is not really as good as it is. It's just really just put together like some designers. I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, um, I feel true fashion it comes from the heart. And if you really put your heart and your mind into it and hard work into it and your own personality and craft, I definitely will love... Uh, the new fashion trends that will be coming and coming out. Thank you, Anthony, and thank you for coming to the closing out party. Hope to see some of your pictures later. So we have our one of our makeup artists here. Her name is Lady, and she's doing the makeup for our beautiful models that we have at the closing out party. So welcome to the show, Lady. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, so I wanted to ask you, what is your inspiration for some of the makeup looks that you did today on the runway? Okay, so today the inspiration was literally just like paint, have it all splattered. It definitely wasn't like the plan. Like I didn't come into thinking I was going to do that, but that's what we had to do. Um, you know, as makeup artists, we just have to make it happen, get the mood board, run with it and go. So that was my inspiration. Okay, okay, I like that. So let me ask you, what are some of the makeup trends that you're noticing today, like on the runway, Instagram, etc.? So as far as like Instagram and runway, I feel like it's two complete different things. I feel like Instagram, everybody wants to go like above and beyond, like the, the longer the lash, the longer the liner, that's Instagram for you. However, runway model is a little bit more, you know, more a little like, I guess, buttoned up very simple very classy still keeping your contour your red lip your liner but it's very more just you know cut back let 
pretty much the outfit, do the talking, and the makeup, just go with it. Okay, and on Slayway today, which is the closing out party, we also have some models who are drag queens. We have men who are models as well. Is it more of a challenge when it comes to doing their makeup? Uh, definitely not. It's, I don't see any gender when I do makeup. I just see a face, a canvas, and we work with it. Okay, so and how can we find you? What are your, what's your Instagram handle? So you guys can follow me at LV Beauty Co. Um, on Instagram, I actually just created it to, you know, pursue more of my makeup. So that's where you can find me. That's where you can book me. Thank you, lady. So next we have here Brandon Gerard, our model, fashion, just songwriter, everything extraordinaire, okay? He does everything. So, hi Brandon and welcome to the chair. Hey, what's up Tati? Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Okay, so I wanted to ask you a question. So today you're performing for Slayway, right? So what's the most difficult challenge that is occurring right now for performing? Um, the biggest challenge is performers being able to perform live, getting back on stage, like being in front of a live audience. Everything has been virtual, which for me isn't really that fun. Like there's nothing like the energy of like real people and lights and stages. And so the biggest challenge has just been like being able to go inside of a venue that has a capacity where we could perform. And so we're getting it back. I'm happy. So, okay, so you're known for your fashion and how you look all the time. You're always killing it on Vogue Italia, etc. So I wanted to ask you today on the stage, what is your inspiration for your outfit? Oh, wow. The inspiration for my outfit today is slayway, is glitz, is glamour. It's, um, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of glamour. And, and today, like the first song I'm performing, um, kind of really speaks to kind of that glamorous feeling. So um, and I think the venue and everything. So let's just say there'll be lots of sparkles. Stay tuned. Ooh, okay, I can't wait to see this. So what else do you have for the viewers that are about to watch your performance? Is there anything new for us? So, well, I'm currently working on new music. I'm trying to come out with that summer banger. So, um, so the song, one of the songs I'll be performing tonight is something I'll be uh, dropping this summer as well. So I just kind of wanted to preview it real quick with the Slayway group and uh, can't wait to do it for y'all. Okay. So how can we find you? What is all your social media handles? We want to know it all. All right. Find me is very easy. It's very consistent. Everything is Brandon Gerard. That's J-E-R-R-O-D, in case you don't know how to spell it. And it's pronounced Gerard, y'all, not Jared. So, Brandon Gerard, y'all find me at Instagram. Oh, also check out my record label, ifgrecords.com, where all this music is coming from. You know what I mean? Support black business. Okay, thank you for coming to the chair, Brandon. Can't wait to see you on stage. <laughs> of course. <laughs> So we have Black Widow here who will be on Slayway today. Welcome Black Widow. Hello, hi. So what's your inspiration right now behind this outfit? What designer is it? Give me the tea. It is all Claire's work. It is incredible. I am living for this fun yellow concoction of fur and uh, tinsel and it's just crazy. I'm all for it. We love a little from give my I feel like I'm back back in like the disco era right now. Seriously, he's like back in the disco era. So who did your makeup? Um, I did my makeup, as I always do. So can you give us some detail? Um, uh, so my face is mostly by Fenty. Thank you, Riri. Um, uh, we have a lovely gold yellow eye kind of going on with a nice smoke out. And yeah, keeping it nat natural, kind of, maybe. <laughs> So you're the only person I've seen that can wear an afro on the runway and look elegant as ever. Can you give us a little bit of tips? I think tease your afro out, like tease it out and just rock it. That's how you have to do it. Just rock it. Just be you, naturally be you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear that. Um, so tell us where to find you. Um, you can find me on Instagram as the Black Widow NYC, and also on TikTok as well, and on Twitter. Well, we're gonna stay tuned in to see you kill the runway. Thank you, Black Widow. <laughs> so, guys, we have the host for tonight's Slayway, which is the closing out party. So you know he has to be the funniest person in the room. So uh, let's introduce Lee Soldier. 
Hey everyone, how are you? I'm Lee Soldier. I'm also the I'm the executive director for the NYC Center for Black Pride. Um, I'm a visual performance artist. I am one of the members of the TV show Pose. Um, I do a lot of stuff in the community. I'm a community advocate. I work in a lot of fashion, behind the scenes and stuff, and I'm part of the ballroom community. So tonight I'm going to be hosting the two categories that we're going to be having at the little competition tonight for Slayway. Okay, that's fantastic. We all love some Pose. So I'm seeing your outfit today and I love it. Can you give us some inspiration behind your look today? Yes, well, this was made by one of my kids. My son made this. His name is Larry Underwood. He's in my house of soldier. And this headpiece was actually made um, from a friend of mine who sent it to me all the way from Germany. He made the piece for me, and I love it. I love it. Amazing. I love it. Okay. So are you going to be walking the runway or anything exciting today? No, I'm just going to get up there when it's my turn and host, and I'm going to stir the kids to get together. And... The kids will be coming through today with their outfits and their looks, so I'm excited to see what everybody's presenting today. Hey, do you have a favorite designer so far? Well, again, I'm, I'm, I'm more here to support the designers, so I'm actually looking to see some new talent. And that's, you know, I've worked with pretty much everybody in the industry, but I love to see what new people are bringing to it. And I think that Brooklyn is like a creative laboratory, and, I, and you know, there's no, no rules to fashion here in Brooklyn. So I really am excited to see um, who, you know, Fashion Week Brooklyn has lined up today. I am looking for some new people to inspire me today. So that's what I want to see. Um, but, you know, the kids that are coming from the ballroom community, people don't understand that ballroom is about creativity. And I'm excited to see what they bring to the floor, too, for Best Dress tonight. I can't wait for that as well. I hope you win Best Dress. <laughs> so where can we find you? Um, you could definitely find me on Facebook um, as Lee Soldier Simmons. Instagram, the same thing, at L-E-E-S-O-U-L-J-A, Lee Soldier. Um, Google me. I'm around. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to the chair, Lee. Yes, pleasure, pleasure talking to you. Thank you. So we have an amazing designer here. His name is Sandro. We just recently seen his collection featured in our show a few days ago. And welcome to the chair, Sam. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, I really enjoyed the Friday show. I mean, the entire day was incredible. You were next to me, basically. And uh, uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I, 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 first of all, I like my collection. And I thought it was pretty successful. And uh, I was very confident about it. So tell us what inspired your collection that we've recently seen. Are you showing today? No, I'm not showing today. I just came to support House in Work and to support my friends that they are giving you know, this event. Uh, my inspiration. My inspiration comes from uh, different sources. Uh, but this one was probably an homage to different designers, I would say. Uh, yeah, because I, you know, it inspired myself a little bit with uh, uh, Gaultier, uh, uh, McQueen, you know, but I reworked it around. Okay. So let me ask you, you are lovely in fashion. I'm always loving your looks. What's your inspiration behind your personal fashion? Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> So where can we find you? Where can we look at your collection? You can go on uh, www.sangiuliomoda.com Oh, okay. my IG, it's uh, at sangiulio underscore moda. Okay. Well, it was lovely talking to you, Sandro. <laughs> So now we have here our DJ for the Slayway event, and not just for the Slayway event, but every single event that we have, you can see JC behind the, the table spinning away. So I want to introduce JC. How you doing? What's going on, everybody? So I wanted to ask you, what's your inspiration behind the music that you play? Like growing up, did you hear house music or, you know, give me the tea, I want to know. So yeah, I actually, um, I, I like to tell people I grew up in a club. I wasn't your average 
four year old, matter of fact. So um, I have a lot of family members that are in the club scene. Uh, Sting International, DJ Spinner, Brian Cox. Uh, the Wizard Brian Cox is two of them, a black and a white one. Um, so yeah, I grew up in Webster Hall. Oh, Jelly Bean, holy crap, how can I forget Jelly Bean? He used to, I used to be in a DJ booth for his with his daughter at the time. Now we're all going doing our own DJ thing at the same time. Jelly Bean Benitez is probably one of the biggest inspirations I got because um, I got to see a lot of inner workings of how the house scene works. So for me, house music is my DNA. And I'm Caribbean too, so that's it's kind of a, a double-edged sword in a good way because uh, I grew up around like big sound systems. So I know how to do everything from the ground floor up. And then uh, as far as music, um, my, uh, for me, my inspiration when it comes to, at least when it comes to Fashion Week Brooklyn is the inspiration from the designers. I go for what they design and try to give the music that I make attitude for that designer. You know what I'm saying? I love the word attitude because it's always, a, I mean, it's Brooklyn. So, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. Granted, all the designers aren't from Brooklyn, but, you know, it's Brooklyn Fashion Week. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what okay, so can you give me your top five, like, artists to play at an event like this? Oh, wow. Um, damn. That's I'm going to go all underground a little bit. Um, um, this is a producer. It's this big SoundCloud producer called KMB. Um, this other kid, he's well known now. Um, his name's Kate Tronada. I always play a lot of Kate Tronada at events like this. Believe it or not, Jaden Smith. Be surprising. Um, um, there's a lot of uh, some stuff he does that people are not aware of, and it works well on the runway, too. So um, I'm trying to think. That's only three. Um, some old school Robin S, you know what I'm saying? Some remixes and whatnot. And then my music. I put myself at number five. So, you know, yeah. Okay, I hear that. Self-promotion. Can't go wrong. But, okay, so you don't only DJ, right? I know you work at FIT, too. So it's a little mix of everything, right? You got the fashion in there, the music. You're just well-rounded. So what made you want to work at FIT? Like, Yo, funny story. I really didn't. Surprising. I was working at J.P. Morgan and I got laid off. I wanted to be a graphic artist, and um, my managing director at the time knew the IT director at FIT, so he knew I was getting laid off. He's like, I don't. He doesn't want me to be jobless, so he put in a good word for me. Because another thing, I was kind of going to school there just on, a, on. So my mom wanted me to go to school for law. I forged her signature so I could go to school for, for graphic design. She never knew about it until I graduated, though. So you know. Um, I was already a student there, so um, with that being said, he put in a good word, and um, the rest is history. It's a le that was in 2011, so since I've been there since, you know, you know, it's been a journey. So I, I started working in the IT department as just a help desk tech, then I became a professor overnight um, through the EOP department and continue with Ed. Now I run the radio station, and um, then I try to also uh, like bridge gaps or make um, connections between Fashion Week Brooklyn. And the Brooklyn Style Foundation and um and FIT, so we got Sustainable Fashion Week out of that. So that that's a hell of a journey. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you love fashion and music. So tell us where we can find you. Oh, easy. Um, Instagram J C Lamar Campbell. That's J A C Y L A M A R Campbell, like the soup. And on SoundCloud J C Lamar Campbell, same thing. Okay. Yeah. So hope to hear some of your music on the runway. Thank you for talking to me, J C. I'm out. So we're at Slayway still, and we have one of our lovely models, Hao Ching. Hey everyone. Okay, so how did you find Fashion Week Brooklyn? Um, Fashion Week Brooklyn is definitely the biggest and liveliest show other than New York um, Fashion Week. And um, this is my first time walking for Fashion Week Brooklyn, honestly. But um, I attended one of their castings back in March. And that's when I started to know everyone. Okay. Yeah. So you're very beautiful. I'm loving the designer that you're wearing. Can you give us the name? <laughs> um, the de designer's name is Paolo. And um, I don't remember. It's very long. It's, I think it's called PVR. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not a problem because uh, designers have like crazy long names sometimes. But we'll see more of this collection on the runway. So, can you give me more information about your background? What inspires you about fashion? How you came about to be a model? 
Yeah, so I'm from China, and um, my first time being on the runway was actually when I was five or six, super little. I was in this like dancing boot camp thing, and that's when I did my first fashion show, and I loved it. And um, when I was in college, I started to really get into modeling with student designers, and um, I walked a couple of shows, and that's when I started to explore how I can express my own creativity with fashion because um, you know I'm not like the standard runway model I'm not quite tall or super skinny but I feel like there's a place for everyone in fashion and as long as you know your vision and um, what you like um, there are always ways for you to express yourself yeah. so can you tell me about some of the fashion in China yeah so there are so many up-and-coming designers in China um, I'm from Beijing and a lot of the designers use traditional Chinese elements and incorporate um, unique stuff in their um, designs. Some of them have um, definitely been on Vogue, like there's a very famous photographer, her name is Guo Pei. Um, she has, um, I think, sh shot Rihanna, for, for example. and. Um, a lot of the designers are worn by American celebrities now too, so it's definitely lit, yeah. yeah. So can you tell us where to find you? Yeah, my Instagram is hg, let me see if you can remember, <laughs> um, 59795, okay. that's my time. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. Bye! So we have another makeup artist here who is from New York Makeup Academy. Her name is Seda. Welcome to our chair, Seda. Thank you. <laughs> so can you tell me about some of the makeup here that you have today on the runway? Uh, sure. Uh, we use the color, pop-up color, neon color, pink, blue, uh, orange. Okay, so that's cool. Dress. Matching the dress. And since you're doing makeup at a, a fashion show, essentially, what's your love for fashion? Yeah, I love fashion too. I love the color. And what? I'm so excited. It's okay. Can you tell us where to find you? Yeah, because I'm going to start my journey. Can you tell us where to find you, your Instagram handle? Sure, my Instagram account is uh, G-O-Z Seda. Okay. Thank you so much for talking with me, Seda. Bye. Thank you. No problem. So today we have here Tiffany Coates, who is the hair and makeup artist, like the head of everything here. She, she does everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Tiffany, straight from B Brooklyn at BK Fashion Weekend with Rick Davey, Jerry Jordan. All of us for 15 years we've been together. So can you tell me a little bit about your role here? So at here, I'm the beauty director. So I take care of all of the looks. I make sure all the designers send the looks and I send it out to our artists. I help up and coming artists come on, come on the scene. You know, get that backstage experience that they can't get anywhere else. So that's my thing. I want to just help up and coming artists do their thing and do what they love to do. Okay, so are you basically also saying that you had a role in choosing the hair and makeup styles for today? So can you give me a little bit of inspiration behind that? Okay, so to, what we did today is actually I work a lot with the designers. So what we do, we ask them what's their looks, and then once I see what they do, we are professing and make sure it's the best look for them. So we did more like little afros and parts in the middles and wigs today. Something nice and simple but very still glam. Okay, and what's your love for fashion? <laughs> I think it's a whole thing. I, you know, I love fashion. I love beauty. I love art. It's like a, it's like a big old cake. I love everything. I got my hands in everything, and I love knowing people that got their hands in everything. Okay. That's lovely. And can you tell us where to find you? You can find me at Tiffany Coates at um, gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Tiffany Coates Beauty for Life. You can also find me on um, Instagram, it's tco75. Okay. Thank you for talking to me, Thank Tiffany. Thank you for the interview. Of course. 
have here a designer for today's Slayway. We all, she's also showcased her collections throughout the shows the last few days. Her name is Claire Fleury, and her collection today is called Hors d'oeuvres, which is making me very, very hungry, by the way. <laughs> it should. That's what the collection is for. <laughs> okay, so can you give us some inspiration behind your collection today? Well, I was working on a, a different collection called The After Party. I'm going to take my mask off. Is that okay? I can't hear myself. I was working on a collection called The After Party, but then I was like, mm, it's not the time for that yet. So what comes before that? And then I was like, mm, appetizers, hors d'oeuvres. So there you go. So they're little, little tastes, little snacks. You can you know, get a, work up an appetite in fashion. So I've also seen some of your collection featured in magazines. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Like which magazines you've been featured in so far? Oh, last well, the past year there's been a lot actually. Um, I was in featured in Glitter magazine, in Lucy's magazine, um, Vulcan. Um, I I have to look it up because it, there's been a lot of coverage over the past year. I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's wonderful. So I see like you have a very eclectic style yourself. Can you give me some inspiration behind your personal style? Um, as many colors as I can put into one collection that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I just love colorful. I love like volume. I love, um, yeah, I think fashion should be fun and should be a party. Okay. And what are some of your favorite trends right now? Trends? <laughs> Do I follow trends? I always follow trends, but then try to sort of bend them around a little bit. So I wouldn't know. I like, I like actually that we're going back to the skinny leg after being like the bell bottom. And I'm looking at you, you're wearing a skirt, so I'm not insulting you. And I'm wearing the wrong thing right now. But I like how that keeps changing back and forth and back and forth. And if you wait long enough, whatever you have in your closet, it'll come back in style. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. So where can we find you? I'm right here. Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Your Instagram hand. Oh, uh, Claire Fleury, which is my name, and then NYC. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Cut. What's your name? So we have Elizabeth here, who's an actress and a model. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, how are you? So I wanted to ask you, what's your inspirations behind fashion? I know that you're an actress and a model. How has that become about? Well, um, to answer your first question, my inspiration in fashion has always been something a little bit more avant-garde, just something, in my opinion, a little bit weird. Um, and so anything that kind of makes you think a little bit and is just a little out of the ordinary has always been really what my eye has been drawn to um, and then when it comes to acting and modeling that's what I did as a young kid um, I started in theater and then mostly um, when it came to modeling my childhood uh, love was a photographer and so we just practiced together and it became something that I really enjoyed and it's just something that I have incorporated into my life. So what designers are you working for today? Um, I'm actually attending. I'm just uh, here to view the fashion. Um, I'm here with a photographer that I just shot with a couple of days ago. And so that's who invited me to this event. And I'm just here to get some inspiration. Yeah, that's lovely. So tell us how to find you. Uh, my Instagram is at live like Liz. So L I V E L I, sorry, live like Liz. L I V E L I K E L I Z. Okay. Thank you for talking talking to me, Elizabeth. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Of What's course. Your Instagram. It's T. -E so we have Lily here, who is a model as well for Slayway. Welcome to the chair, Lily. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So I've noticed with you that one of your like signature things is a little baldy, but I love it because it looks so smooth. Can you tell us exactly what's the inspiration behind that? Well, it's crazy because it started off as cancer, but it became my signature. So when I became cancer free, which I'm cancer free, I just kept it. And so it was a gift. It was a curse that became a gift. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm glad that you're still with us. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here today. Yes. Okay, so what designer are you walking for today? I am walking for, um, oh God, I'm so horrible with names. Claire, Claire Fleur. Okay, like we've become besties in the last 24 hours and I forgot her name. But her stuff is very um, futuristic with a retro feel. So it's like you took a time machine to the year 3000 and then did a throwback to the 1970s. <laughs> okay, can you, can you tell us it, what it is that you normally do? Like what's your niche? My niche is um, how I feel that day. So it's like slightly bipolar. So I never know what I'm going to wear. I can look like Mary Poppins or I can look like Cardi B or I can look like auntie, like the cool auntie doll, like the real cool auntie. So it just depends on how I feel that day. But it's always going to be something that's classy. Even when I'm doing something thotty, it's still going to be classy. I hear that. That's that's all of our goals, right? <laughs> exactly. So can you tell us where to find you? Yes, it's at YB Limited, the letter Y, the letter B, and the word limited. Why be limited? Why? Wow, okay, that's very catchy. So hopefully we'll see you on the runway, just killing it. Thank you for talking to me. Bye. See you looking gorgeous. Thank you, you too. So we have King Omani here. Welcome to the chair, King Omani. So we have King Omani here. Welcome to the chair, King Omani. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your role and what are you here for today? Are you here to enjoy the show? I sure am. Um, I used to work with Rick on a couple of seasons before um, and also have managed a couple of designers on that has been a part of the show. So now I'm bringing myself out to let people know I'm bringing out my own line hopefully by the end of this year aiming for September so so can you give me a little bit of tease and inspiration behind your personal style or your design yes so my personal style um, I categorize myself as they them um, so I'm androgynous and my style of it's like right now it's the springtime my birthday just passed in April um, so I'm like really the Easter Bunny, so I go by the season, so I actually like to be kind of like the mask. So exactly how um, when Jim Carrey put on that mask and he transformed into something different, I feel as that's my persona and that's what I'm bringing into my clothing line and that I'm launching right now. So that's dope. Um, can you cut for a second? Can you cut for a second? So when will you be dropping your collection? Um, I'm hoping for September, um, but really in October, because I love Halloween. Um, my line will be called 1313, um, which the first 13, when you add the 1 and the 3, is 4, and my birthday is April 13. So that's the reason behind it. Um, so hopefully it'll be coming out in October. Um, but if it comes out in September, if Fashion Week, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week acts, then I'll do it then. But we'll see. I don't know. Well, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, I could get a piece. <laughs> so, can you tell us where to find you? Sure. You can find me on Instagram at kyng.sanaa.staarabu, which means King Sanastarbu. In Swahili, that means King Art Civilization. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to me, King Omani. Of course.